morning. Today we're going to cover the do's and don'ts of restoration. There are some things that uh, if you don't plot them out correctly, you're going to end up spending a lot more money and effort into completing the build of your car. We're going to cover things about um, rolling restorations, full tilt restorations, and the do's and don'ts of the sequence of events you should be accomplishing when you're building your car. Now, this is built on the premise that you're doing this at home instead of having um, a professional facility do it for you. And we're going to show you what that's all about. Um, for example, this morning we're going to start with a car that we're only painting the engine bay in. We painted this car a while ago. The car was delivered. The customer enjoyed it for a while. Now it's back because he decided he wanted to get the engine bay painted. We're going to show you why that wasn't a good idea in the beginning and why you shouldn't consider doing it yourself. This 69 Roundtail Spider is a car we're using for the example of do's and doves. We had painted the exterior of this car, updated the interior, um, put in a hidden sound system, new uh, canvas top, you name it. Um, this car was uh, heavily vested for a summer enjoyment. The customer all along did not want to remove the engine and all the interior parts of the engine bed to respray it. And um, then he later on decided that he did. Um, that high anticipation to get your car back sometimes can really add up in the end of the do's and don'ts. Once the car was delivered, he enjoyed it for a couple months, then he decided to send it back up to um, have the motor pulled and to freshen up the engine bay. Um, that can be a very expensive experience. Um, and if you think about it, you're really just kind of giving in to your uh, height of anticipation of getting the car back. Uh, to do this, you, it's, it's probably close to $3,000 by the time you pull the motor, all the interior bits of the engine bay, wet sand everything, and then get the car ready for paint. Now we're gonna paint it today, you'll see how that goes, but effectively, think about the process and sequence of events that it takes to get the car done, and um, come to a systematical approach in the long run, being methodical about this will really save you a lot of money. You can now see that the engine bay has been fully sanded and it's ready for color application. A couple of things should be pointed out. One, we use aluminum foil to protect the wiring harness and the brake lines from overspray. This is an inexpensive way to protect those areas without having to remove them, which would only add to the expense of this process. Also, you can see that at some point in time, somebody had painted the engine bay, but the motor was never removed, hence the white that you see, because the car was originally white. Painting of this engine bay is going to be done in four separate steps. The first step is, is we're going to apply adhesion promoter. This is a one coat application system. You merely apply this product to existing paint and allow it to open up the pores. This will ensure that the new sealers and paint will bond to the original surface better than if you were just to sand it and apply paint over it. Now we're moving on to step two of our four step process. We're going to apply an acid edge primer over all the bare metal areas of the engine bay. Upon closer inspection, you can see that most of the acid edge was applied in the lower sections of the engine bay. That's typically because this is where fluids settle and tend to erode the paint over time. Now we're on step three of our four step process. We're applying our epoxy sealer. If you notice, we're using a gray sealer. Later you'll see why we chose gray over any other color in the sealer.
This is our mixing bank. There are nearly a hundred toners on this system. If there's a recipe out there, we could probably make any color for any car ever produced.
Okay, this is the end of another Vintage Customs tutorial. I hope you found this information helpful on the restoration of your own projects. Mm -hmm.